Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. This is 2nd of August, Thursday, and I came all the way here to Brighton. And, well, I didn't plan it like this at all, but let's do a video because I need to wait for an hour or more to have the others here so that's the hotel room I was just there so that's the door you come in that's the bathroom and I'm in the bathroom and here we have the bath Look at that, look at the size of them. I think the last time I've seen this massive bed in New York, I never seen this kind of monsters here in Europe. But I was really glad when I've seen them. <laughs> this is great. Look at how nicely arranged this is. We have hot chocolate here. And because it's England, we have cookies. This is ginger. I already choose the bed. It's next to the window. Usually I take the bed by the wall as far as uh, from the window as possible but in this one here they had given me the hot chocolate and oat and honey cookies which is much better than the ginger one I love this desk look at how huge this is as well I wish I had something like that at home. This is the TV. Down there, the remote control. I never use the TV. I like to listen music instead. The kids. Oh my god. We have lots of kids next to us and I just turned on opera Il Divo really loud you know just to block the sound of them out but anyway I like children so it's fine it's eight o'clock and it's already getting dark I was thinking to turn on the Turn on the lights for better view, but I think it will do. Of course, I didn't bring the tripod, so I guess I need to hold it. I change my job twice in less than a month which means that basically <sighs> basically I've lost my holidays or a chance to go for holiday for proper holiday one week or two weeks or anything like that <sighs> what happened is I left my original job I joined another one and I left it after a week and went back to the original job where I was but now it's under a different management and they are really really great hard-working people I don't think I ever work with people like that who can work literally every single day like 18 20 hours and when you look at their faces like wow man you, you, they don't seem to be tired at all and they're very quick 
and they organize the, the reaction time is basically non-existent you tell them anything and they they do it straight away incredible so i've been doing long hours as well from, from like seven eight o'clock in the morning i start and then finish nine and ten in the evening but because I work with these kind of people who are really strong really motivated I don't I don't feel the time I don't feel the time at all hmm. it would be great to have breaks in the same time but you know it's all right I went back to the place which I I really like and where I spend years and years basically two years of my life and I met people that changed my life completely really they pushed me over the edge and you know I was dreaming about it <sighs> to do that hmm for example, this one, when I came to the room, I noticed... Oh, oh yes. I have white shirt with yellow stripes and the white short and the black socks. And you could wonder why. Well, the thing is that my grandma bought these socks and a few weeks ago we went home to celebrate her 80th birthday and you know i like i like these socks and when i look at them i think of her so we have a hair dryer which is great because usually Oh no no no, I wanted to say that usually we don't have hair dryers in the hotel rooms but I realized that uh, when we were in Paris we had it as well and we had it uh, on a ski holiday as well so let's skip that part. I wanted to talk about this, the Holy Bible. I think I was reading an interview with... Uh, Let's sit down. I was reading an interview with Brandon Fraser, the actor who played in the original Mummy movies. <clears throat> and there was a, an interview with him. He sounded very, very old and bored and really down and stuff. And uh, the reporter asked him, if he's believing in God and he said well I don't remember what he said that he said yes or no but I remember that for him praying is when he's in the hotel room he opens up the Bible and read the first line he sees and that was the first time I wondered about the hotel rooms, that why they have Bibles in them. And then I started, it was a long time ago, and then I started to travel around the world. And I found out that it's true that every single hotel room has a Bible in it. And I think it's great. It's a good stuff. Anyway, I won't open it and I'm not gonna read up anything. But I can tell you how everything changed in my life. I came to this hotel room and the first thing I did... Oh yes, t-shirts. This is for the swimming swimsuit. And that's it. No bags at all. <sighs> Since I left the school I lived out of my bag even when I was even when I was um, renting a flat renting a room 
I never really put anything on the shelves. I never really use <coughs> any furniture. For example, I stayed uh, a lot in East London, where you have now the Olympic Village. Is the um, they built it in 2012 when they had the Olympics going on in London. I lived there for a while for years actually and I never used any furniture I had my bags I think I had like two or three suitcases and I had all my books all my comic books all my shirts in them and it was fine and this January since this January when I finally started to change my life around without a question I came to the room and put my stuff away so I have my suitcase in there completely empty and all my stuff just in here and it feels all right Ah, I changed a lot since January. Oh, back to the mummy movies. Since January I started to study again and... Whoops! We have a message. We've been waiting for, for hours and hours. But uh, I think it's like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. It's not gonna be a text and we are waiting for a text message Hmm, we'll see Back to the mummy movies So when I started to study again It was online study and when you study online, obviously You need to use the internet every day it's better if you use it at least twice a day and they give me a password which was out of the mummy movies and I was like oh my god cool stuff Do -do 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 -do. They are not here yet. My friend told me it's healing. <sighs> I don't see it that way. It looks really scary. Because, uh, you know, it's spread out in a quite huge area. Unbelievable. I didn't even know how I got it. I don't feel like bumping into anything, anything at all. <sighs> I was so bored waiting for the others that actually I sent an email applying for a job. Wish me luck. So before we finish, I show you the bathroom. My socks messaged uh, my socks. Ah, oh, yes, perfectly fits the scenery. I like this thing. Once I was staying in a hotel room where the actual bathtub was like that, completely separated from the wall in the middle of the bathroom. So here we are. <sighs> I had 
a little bit of problem using this and of course when I was standing just right here I turned this thing on I'll show you the size of it this is my fist <laughs> Pretty big stuff. Where are the others? Come guys, otherwise I'm gonna drink your hot chocolate. Usually the video is supposed to be <clears throat> around 10 minutes long, but this one gonna be a little bit longer because I talk really slow. <laughs> I'm on holiday. So I was coming here by train and one guy started to sing really, really bad. And <sighs> then I finally changed my life in January. The very first thing I did was signing up for singing lessons, you know, just to help me uh, to strengthen my communication skills and learn to speak public, you know, public speech and all that stuff. Everything comes with the same technique. Uh, you know, how to breathe and, uh, you know, how you put your shoulders and all that stuff. So when I hear someone singing, the very first thing I'm listening to is the breathing. And this guy was... <sighs> was drunk completely utterly drunk and he was singing Taylor Swift over and over again like five or six times the same songs with it was really terrible and when I say terrible I mean he didn't really put any effort in it it really pained my ears and you know I looked at the other people on the train where well it wasn't a full train maybe hmm, we used like 90% of the seats and no one seemed to be bothered by by this man who was singing Taylor Swift and then I think in the end he switched to Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, you did it like five times. Every single song. Five times. But this man made me aware of the other passengers around me and when he finally quieted down I just heard the other people talk and next to me there were three or four passengers about the same age they didn't know each other before but I think because of this singing they started to talk and one of the lady who was sitting by the window uh, she said that she's from Australia and she's here just for the summer holidays which was strange a little bit because she didn't have the Aussie accent at all and um, she said that even though she's on holiday she can't focus on anything she can't relax because uh, the company laying down people firing them and when she started she was uh, quite elderly with a uh, silver hair but she still looked very good 
and and she was just you know casually saying how it is in her country that when she started the company had over 100,000 employees 100,000 and now they are down to 40,000 and this year they wanna get rid of another 900 people and um, her team is quite small like 8 to, to 10 people or something and the boss already got an email her boss already got an email to get rid of half of the team so she was really stressed and she said that today morning she got an email that it's not gonna happen no one from their team gonna get fired they are all right at the moment and they're gonna be like that for the next few years and I I was listening to these guys you know they were between the age of maybe 45 55 just before the retirement because they are from Australia I don't know what it's the retirement age in Australia because here I think it's 70 <sighs> So, it's pretty weird, you know, working in a place like that. Because where I work, I didn't choose this, uh, it just kind of happened. In, what I do is um, that business is expanding, you know, every single day. For example, where I worked a couple of years ago, uh, they literally building a new site and opening a new site every month but of course it's not gonna um, you know it's not gonna be forever this growth is not, not, not gonna it's not gonna go on forever but it would be great but you know working in a company which had 100,000 people and now is down to 40,000 that is pretty worrying stuff but you know I was thinking about them I was thinking about their age and I realized that how different I am and my friends from the previous generations I just told you beginning of this video that for example I never used the furniture I never used the fridge b before this January so when it comes to you know the previous generation they bought their houses when they were like between 18 and I don't know 24 and they bought furniture they bought this they used these services and that services and and you know it was a completely different life and all those companies that were supporting this kind of lifestyle now they are in a really bad position because the new generation is living in a slightly different way for example me you know I'm not really young so I should be thinking about buying a house and for me it's you know just a strange concept <sighs> right now I'm in a hotel room and I can imagine myself to be in uh, different hotel rooms ah we got a message maybe finally the others are coming anyway I can imagine myself being in different hotel rooms for the rest of my life but and my friends are the same everyone is renting everyone is moving around changing cities countries like the previous generation changed t-shirts so I can imagine that it puts a rather big pressure